It's Madden NFL 23 on EA Sports, and tonight's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the New York Jets and the Green Bay Packers on Monday night. And we come to you from one of the truly iconic stadiums in the NFL as you get a look at Lambeau Field here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Tonight, we've got the crew set for what should be a real treat, a great Monday night matchup between the New York Jets and the Green Bay Packers. And hi again, everybody. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And Charles, when you and I were going through our final run-throughs at breakfast, we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses. And we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that could have an impact on this game. It's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays. If you take him away, maybe number two, number three, they make the big plays that impact who wins the game. Send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Veteran Green Bay quarterback Aaron Rodgers ready to go for drive number one along with the rest of this Packer offense. I remember watching him in college and seeing a guy that you knew had great potential, but I don't know that anyone knew that we would see how he would blossom as an NFL player who will go down as one of the all-time great quarterbacks. Can make every throw from every angle with terrific mobility, and he knows how to win games, always in contention for a championship. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. And all of that, nearly an opening drive INT, but it does fall incomplete. Not the way he wanted to start this ball game as it brings up fourth down. O'Donnell, he's on to punt as he gets this one away. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by a man who upset the AFC champs in his first career start last year during the regular season. Out of Western Kentucky, here's Mike White. Brandon, I know he isn't at the status of some of the elite names in this league, but I do know he's an absolute fighter because he's heard all the criticism. He's read the articles that say he isn't good enough to be the starter, and he absolutely does not care. All he wants to do is prove every doubter wrong and show that he belongs in this spot. And this one is incomplete. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Oh, this defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. Now the Jets send on Braden Mann to punt. Taken from just outside the 30. Call that a 46-yard punt with a net of 40 on the six-yard return. And it'll be Packer football here. First down at 10. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guys are a little I bit don't, jumpy. But you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. Just like us <laughs> calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three and out. And have that opportunity to 
<laughs> no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first time. I'm trying to do good. <laughs> well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. And yeah, that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. He finds Randall Cobb with a completion. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 20-yard line. That third down conversion, good for 23. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot. So you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough 39. On the delay, Jones. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Here's Rodgers. And he's got his man. Touchdown, Green Bay. It's Alan Lazard. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. On is Mason Crosby for the point after. And it's good to make it 7-0 Packers. After one, 7-0 on EA Sports. Back for the second quarter in Green Bay. It's the Packers in possession of the football. be on now to kick it away. And this will be a touchback. Berrios deciding not to bring it out. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. Eluding the pressure. And a big loss here as he's taken down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sand. Well, he got the lead, but it's certainly not a big one. And how do you keep control of that lead? Certainly not by that last play there. They gave up a big sack on the first play of this drive. Now it's double the distance to the first down marker. Now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. Uncorks one for Davis. And that's caught inside the 35. That all the way in. Touchdown, New York. 
So from back deep, deep in their home territory, all the way into the end zone. You think they expected to score on that one? I'm not sure they expected to score, but they also show that they're not averse to taking a little bit of a risk there, right? Taking a chance because the normal call is take care of the football, run be it, safe. be safe. Instead, they put it in the air and took a gamble, and it paid off in a big way. That right. wasn't an analytics call. That wasn't a fantasy guy's call. That was like a video game call right there. It was a little bit of a video game call, but it worked. Zerline good with a PAT, and we are tied at seven. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Fields it right around the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. As the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want a carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And yeah, we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Back to the ground, this time with Jones. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. The Packers on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This time it's third and three. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he is not going anywhere. He will not even get back to the line of scrimmage as the clock will stop at the two-minute warning. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Pat O'Donnell, to kick it away. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. And that's what friends are for. Right. <laughs> As the returner, you know who you're buying dinner for later. Oh, without a doubt, because he just took care of you and your team in a big way. You know, you turned it over there. That's a big momentum changer and put your defense in a bad spot. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Well, the football changing hands here and as this offense takes a field, Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Back to the air on second down. White. That's complete. It's Elijah Moore. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's White. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, he certainly didn't like what he saw at all from the coverage on his primary reads. And he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to his safety valve. Give defense a credit. Coverage was in lockdown mode everywhere. Throwing again on second and ten. White. Here. Now a loose football. The ball comes out. And the Packers pick it up. 
There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S, ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you get defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Rodgers. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. But defensively, you're over there trying to catch your breath and try not to show the offense that you're a little bit fatigued. You're right back out there after the turnover. Now they've got to work towards getting another couple of stops and forcing them into at least a long field goal situation. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. I thought that was a good call. Passing situation on second down. They hit them with the draw instead. Pick up nice yardage. Yeah, because the draw, they're thinking pass when they see that initially defensively, right? But you know in today's NFL, most of the time on second and long when it's a passing situation, pass rushers are on the field. They're only thinking one thing, get to the quarterback. And oftentimes you can bypass them with a running play. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. The kick by Crosby is good, and they take the lead here now at 10-7. So the defense are able to force their first turnover of the game, and then they add on to that by getting the field goal. And you don't just want to take the ball away from your opponent, partner. You want to make them hurt as well. And if you don't score yourself on defense, turn it over to your offense and have them put points on the board. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half is the kick is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. And no reason to do anything foolish as they'll snap it one more time on first down. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we're at halftime here at Lambeau with the Packers taking the lead to the break. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. First up, though, let's take a look at the next-gen stats from that first half for the Jets. And they weren't able to get a whole lot done throwing the football. That'll likely be a big key if they want to turn things around in the second half. Meanwhile, for the Packers, we check out their numbers on the ground as they'll try to keep the momentum going into the second half. These two teams going through their final adjustments. It's about time for the second half in Green Bay. So for the call, we go back up to Lambeau and Brandon God. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. The Jets going to get the football first, and they trail as well as we get back underway in this second half. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. The Jets head out on offense here to start this third quarter. 
And Charles, some things to like about that first half, ultimately trailing here, but certainly this deficit is manageable. So curious to see what adjustments they may have made at intermission. As am I, because I think things bode well for a possible comeback because I thought a lot of their best reps in the first half came through the passing game. They were hitting the open receivers, taking whatever the coverage gave them and making it work well for themselves. Now, they just want to pick up the pace of scoring a little bit. So I expect them to come back, continue to throw the ball effectively. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. The goal is certainly to try and make a big play happen and climb back into this game, but you have to be careful. If you overdo it, you could turn it over and hurt your team. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game. Second and ten. A give up the middle to Carter. And it's a fumble. And the Packers pick it up. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. To the opposite of what they envisioned when they left that locker room. A turnover on the opening drive of this third quarter. I like your identification there because that's exactly what they discussed in the locker room before they came out on the field. Let's get the ball. Let's go down and score. Put some points on the board and feel good about it. Not an insurmountable lead, but definitely not how they saw it at halftime. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And the tackle there by Quan Alexander. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now the toss to Jones, running right. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. Third down just got a lot tougher. That will officially go as a loss of seven. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. The Jets will bring in a nickel set as they try to stop this third down. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Quan Alexander. And the Jets are going to take possession here at their own 33. But just a lot going on there in the middle of the field, and this one winds up a turnover. Yeah, they're running a crossing route here, and the idea of it is to get defenders confused about who to go with. But if you throw it too early, sometimes it's your quarterback that gets confused. And here, he throws it into coverage and gets it intercepted. Now the Jet offense about to take over as they head out onto the field. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. First down, it's White. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. Third quarter on a Monday night with a second and ten coming up. Carter straight ahead. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. To throw, White. Able to complete this one to Tyler Conklin. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 
First time they've looked his way in this game. He comes through picking up the first. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time, but it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time arm strength. Very nice route. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. All right, help me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. It seems like every pass is also contested well, so give some credit to the defense. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? Robinson will try to pick it up. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. Here's the Jets punter now as he's on to kick it away. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Green Bay, Wisconsin is the spot. Third quarter inside Lambeau. Glad you're with us. Second and 10. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Throwing is Rodgers on third down. Open man, here is Cobb. And he will be taken down, but a big pickup there on what's going to be the final play of the third quarter. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And again, it's Rodgers. That's complete to Lazard. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomped down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Now a draw play. This is Jones. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. Totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. And meanwhile, Rodgers' throw here pulled in by Lazard. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. 
That's good for 28 yards. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They've got it first and goal as they search for what could be a game-sealing touchdown. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. One back in the game, that's Jones, second and goal. They'll give it to him again. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Let's go, man. This Jet defense so far standing tall. They need another stop now, third and goal. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that round early for Sam himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on there and score a touchdown. Try now for Crosby. It's good to make it 17-7. So that drive goes a full 80 yards in 10 plays. And it ends with a Packers touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. So the Jets now down on the scoreboard. A little under a minute 50 remaining. Their offense has struggled all night, and now they need to find two scores late to try to pull this thing out. Now White with a first down throw. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, they've certainly had trouble unlocking this defense through three and a half quarters. So I don't expect it to get any easier now. You know they're going to be sitting back and waiting on everything, and they force an incompletion there. Now White lost the football, and the offense will get this one back. Boy, that could have been catastrophic at this late stage of the game, but they avoid disaster. Now a desperation throw deep downfield, and unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And that is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about Slim and none? Well, Slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none? Yes, exactly right. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Up the middle, Jones. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play.
Again, it's Jones. The broken tackle could not free him as he's brought down at the 10-yard line. The Jets will bring in a nickel set here as they try to stop this third down. And right side, they're going to go option here. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. A three-yard loss, fourth down now. Well, so much for that possession. Yeah, I think he tried to do a little too much there, partner. He tried to keep it himself. Ended up getting buried in the backfield, and that brings up fourth down. The kick by Crosby is good. So the starting field position was terrific following the surprising turnover on downs, but the end result, only three points. Simply stated, I think you have to look at that as a missed opportunity. After the main field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. The New York set to take the field. What do you do here down like this in this situation? Do you maybe just pick something out of the playbook you haven't called in a while or you call it a day? You can do that or you pick something that's a staple for you and should work better and try and execute that on the way out the door and maybe get back to base and feel a little bit. And he lost the football. But I think a Jet was able to recover and they'll keep possession thanks to a heads-up play. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. So it's all over. A Green Bay victory. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out.